Good morning, this is David with the Sear Talon Series. Today I'm going to give you a tabletop review of the Glock Combat Sports Holster. I picked this holster up on eBay for about $13, $14 shipped. This is the Glock Subcompact Glock 33 357 SIG. Same frame size as the Glock 26 and 27. Magazine's been removed and is clear of ammunition, as is the chamber. And it's a safe and clear firearm. Almost all my holsters have been uh, inside the waistband holsters. I was in the market for an outside the waistband holster and found this uh, holster primarily through the Glock Talk forum. Uh, did some research online, Amazon. It gets uh, four plus stars on Amazon.com and throughout the uh, internet gets a lot of positive reviews. I found about 95% positive feedback on web sources and I thought like most people do for $13, $14 really can't go wrong. So like I said on eBay I picked this up for about $14 shipped. Uh, got here in about four or five days really quickly and uh, comes in a in a Glock factory packaging. The first way I started to wear it was running my belt down this hole under the holster towards my body and then out this hole and and um, so forth at the three o'clock position. Thought that wore pretty good. Um, it was okay. Then I started running my belt underneath this portion here and over the holster down and so forth at the three o'clock position. And really like that. I think that it takes a lot of the rigidity, um, these edges out of the printing from your uh, your clothing. So it eliminates a lot of uh, a lot of printing that way. Then I found a Glock Talk thread by AWGD8 where he had taken a cigarette lighter open flame and started to soften these flanges and basically he molded them to fit or customize uh, the way that he particularly carries his, his firearm. So I thought that was a really good idea because my original thought was that these um, would be better suited for me. Um, if they were more towards my body, I think that it would just wear a little bit better that way. So that's what I did. It was really easy to do. It took me about 10 minutes or so. Um, and now, now I love it. It's really has been a great holster for me. Really good retention. It's lightweight, thin, uh, very compact, very uh, easy and comfortable to wear. It flexes. Um, with your with your body so as you move around it kind of just kind of just rides and flexes and and just kind of flows with you real nicely so this is a great um, for sports for recreation uh, type holster but for a concealable outside the waistband holster I think this meets all my criteria good retention comfortable to wear uh, doesn't print very much Let me give you a, a quick example of how I'm wearing it here, and then I'll maybe throw a couple pictures in in between um, in between videos. But basically, like I said, I'm running my belt up and under this piece here, and then this is at the three o'clock position on my hip, three thirty maybe if you want to uh, bring it back a little bit. But these are open and flexible enough where you can adjust, especially if you get in the vehicle, you need to ride it forward, and then you get out or whatever you're doing, you need to ride it back a little bit. So good flexibility with that and then I'm running it over and then you can see with this belt it just takes out all these these uh, rigid lines here that that would uh, otherwise I think um, print a little bit more and then run this and then out to my 12 o'clock position so overall really happy with this purchase like I said for uh, for about 13 14 dollars and then a little bit of my own uh, modification work. I made this holster work for me. Like I said, I started out um, thinking that it was okay, then went to liking it, and then once I did the modification and continued to, to wear it um, and drill with it, now I, now I love it. And it's a great holster, uh, especially for the price. Can't beat that. And uh, yeah, looks, looks great, feels great. Thanks for watching the review. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.